How to draft an elevation drawing. Elevation drawing shows the views of the exterior parts of the house. In drawing these, we have a lot of ways. However, there are basic principles that are commonly applied by house planners around the world. Here are some of the basic steps of drafting the elevation drawing. You may consider these if it is applicable in your context. Step 1 is to draw the horizontal reference lines. The highlighted line is the NGL or natural ground line. Next, is the FFL or the finished floor line. RBL is the roof beam line, specifically the line representing the top of the roof beam. The height of this line from FFL is constant. It is equal to 3 meters or 3 centimeters in a drawing using scale 1 is to 100. AL refers to apex line. Apex line is the highest part of the roof system of the house, usually this is the ridge. You may have more than one apex line. Bottom part of the window. Upper part of the window and door. Typically, the topmost part or header of doors and windows are aligned with each other at 2.1 meters from the FFL or 2 centimeters and 1 millimeter in a drawing using scale 1 is to 100. Bear in mind that these lines should be drawn lightly. They are construction lines. Step 2 is to draw the vertical projectors for the wall, windows, doors, etc. The highlighted lines are representing the columns. These lines being highlighted are indicating the spans of the windows. For step 3, Draw the outline of the shed roof according to its desired pitch, features, and dimensions. The lower portion of the roof system rested on the top of the RBL. In this design, the thickness of the roof system is 30 cm, 3 mm in a drawing using scale 1 is to 100. As shown, the height from RBL to the apex is 2 meters. 2 cm in a drawing using scale 1 is to 100. Step 4. Finalize the line elements according to the prescribed thickness. Object lines are drawn to represent the major features of the house. Object lines are thick lines. Hidden lines are used to represent the RBL and FFL. Take note that in doing this, you may add the details of the roof system, windows, doors, and walls that show the actual view of the house. These lines are drawn in fine dark line as shown.
Step 5 Provide the dimensioning system, specifications, and labels. Dimensioning system includes only the vertical heights of the reference lines as shown. Specifications are descriptions of the materials to be used in the construction. It shall be provided with leader lines. Labels for the reference lines shall be provided. It shall be abbreviated as shown. Labels for doors and windows shall be given. W3 for example is one of the designs of a window. The same principle shall be applied to labeling the doors when a door is shown in the view drawn. Note the number used in labeling the doors and windows shall be according to the preference of the designer. Only that in labeling, all doors slash windows with the same features, size, design, etc., shall be labeled with the same code number. For instance, D1 or door 1 shall be labeled to all panel door with same design measuring 0.90 meter. The same principle is applied in labeling the windows. The labels shall be 3 millimeters, this is the height of the lettering. Labels shall be provided with light guidelines always. Step 6. Lastly, provide the title and scale. The title shall be 5 mm, and the scale is 3 mm. All capital letters shall be used consistently with guidelines. Guidelines shall be drawn lightly.